Hello guys, it's Steve here. It is Wednesday, April 17th, 2019, and I'm going to do a review video for this video. What I'm going to review is going to be Bang Energy Cotton Candy. Here's the can close up. It's a pink one. Yeah. Um if you guys hear any noises in the background, I got my window open. I got the blinds closed, but I got the window open. So, yeah. Um, so that's why you may hear noises like birds or cars driving past down the street or whatever. Or other noises. Because uh, it's a nice day out here. It's like in the 70s or late 60s. Um, get some fresh air in here. But yeah, bang energy. Cotton candy. This is the pink one. I already reviewed the green one, which was uh, let me see what that one was called. Let me go on my video list just for a second. Hang on, guys. It's uh, right now. It's 4:26 p.m. Uh, yeah, I reviewed the green one, which was the Sour Heads, and the blue one I reviewed was Blue Rass. So yeah, this is Cotton Candy, which is definitely interesting. I never reviewed a Cotton Candy flavored drink, so this may actually have a different taste to it, because a lot of drinks I review or whatever, some of them just have the same exact taste, something that I've tasted before. Hopefully this actually has a different taste, something that never tasted before. I've had cotton candy before. Not that much. I can't remember the last time I had cotton candy. Last time I ate it, but I uh, had it a couple times. Um, I liked it. But, uh, let's read the nutrition facts of this. Um, yeah, BCAA Amino Super Creatine Ultra COQ10, whatever the hell that is. Nutrition facts. Contains no fruit juice. Serving size, one can, 16 fluid ounces, 473 milliliters. Calories, zero grams. Calories from fat, zero. Total fat, zero grams, zero percent. Saturated fat, zero grams, zero percent. Trans fat, zero grams. Cholesterol, zero, gra zero milligrams, uh, zero percent. Sodium, 40 milligrams, two percent. Potassium, 85 milligrams, 2%. Total carbohydrates, 0 grams, 0%. Zero dietary fiber, 0 grams, 0%. Zero Sugar, 0 grams. Protein, 0 grams. Vitamin C, 50%. Niacin, 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 whatever, 25%. Vitamin B6, 25%. Vitamin B12, 25%. Magnesium, 2%. Ingredients, carbonated water, citric acid, and hydros, natural flavors, caffeine, and hydros. Yeah. Sodium, benzoate, preserves freshness, uh, potassium, citric, uh, monohydrate, sucralose, potassium, phosphorate, or phosphate, diabetic. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, I'm not reading this entire. I always have trouble reading the ingredients because some words I just don't understand. It has a pink cap, as you can see. Close up. Yeah. Uh, not intended for individuals under the age of 18. Um, yeah, made in the USA from. Domestic and imported ingredients. Zero grams total carb per can. Yeah, I read that. Um, by the makes of the legendary Red Line Energy products. Make no mistake, Bang is not your stereotypical high sugar like sucking soda, mass queriting, queriting as an energy drink. High sugar drinks spike blood sugar, producing metabolic mayhem, causing you to crash harder than a test dummy. 
then a test dummy into a brick wall. Power up with bangs, potion brain, and body rocking fuel. Creatine, caffeine, C0Q10, and BCAAs, branch chain amino acids. I it already says that at the top, I read that part. Uh, life is an extreme sport, and bang is the extreme energy source to live life extreme. Um, yeah, enough with reading the can. You're probably already waiting for me to try it. Again, this has no sugar, so it's going to have a diet aftertaste to it, but maybe it won't bother me. That's an interesting smell. Absolutely. Definitely smells different from a lot of things I review. Yeah, I normally don't do videos this early, like at 4 o'clock, but since I'm drinking an energy drink, I don't want to fall asleep really late. So, yeah, and this keeps me up, so will keep you up. Although I have slept through energy drinks before, so it wouldn't really matter, but still, just in case. Because there actually has been time for this has kept me up. had the chills. Yeah. Alright. I wish these cans had like the Mountain Dew Game Fuel cans where I could just close them so I don't have to worry about accidentally knocking it over and it spilling everywhere, especially on my freaking computer. I'm going to put this up here, far away. Uh, yeah. Bang Cotton Candy. Um, what does it taste like? Um, it has a cotton candy flavor to it. Um, yeah. Um, it's not sweet. It doesn't have a diet, or it does have a diet aftertaste, which, you know, makes it not as great. Um... Excuse me. Uh, if they had sugar, I'd say this would be even better. But it doesn't have sugar, causing it to have a diet aftertaste. Therefore, yeah, and it was like $3.10 at Speedway last night when I went to get it. Uh, it's not the cheapest energy drink. Usually, like Monster and Rockstar and most energy drinks are under two dollars or under three. They're like two dollars over two dollars under three dollars <clears throat> This is three dollars and ten cents um, Red Bull's the most expensive, but um, This isn't the most expensive energy drink, but it is a little expensive um, But still good. It's not as good as the sour heads uh, the Blue Raz, I don't really think I was a fan of that one. But I think this is better than the Blue Raz. Or I think it's on the same level, I don't know. It's not really that great. The Blue, or the, the Sour Apples, I liked the taste of that, and it was sour, which made it better. But, yeah. Out of 10... I uh, give this a 7.5. It's good. Has a good, somewhat of a good flavor. Not my favorite. Has a diet aftertaste, and uh, yeah, making it a little worse. If it had sugar, 
I say I'd give it a maybe a little bit higher review, but yeah, not the best tasting, but it's all right. It's somewhat good. It's not nasty or anything. Yeah. Yeah, it still has a good taste. Not my favorite flavor, but... Eh, whatever. But yeah, this... gets a 7.5 out of 10. This is basically my video. Bang Cotton Candy. Uh... Do I recommend it? Eh... Honestly... Me, personally... Maybe, I guess, again, it's not the best tasting, but it's still a little good. Uh, it, again, 7.5 out of 10, that's a C. Um, it could be worse, but um, it could be a lot better. Um, and I obviously wouldn't get this again. The only thing I'd get again is the, the Sour Heads one. Because those ones are, that one's the best. Uh, it just has a good flavor to it, and it, it's sour, which making it better. I don't know. What do you guys think of it if you had Bang Cotton Candy? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Feel free to comment down below, but uh, I'm going to end this video. So I'll do more reviews, rants, vlog videos. Uh, maybe it, it's supposed to thunderstorm tonight, maybe. If it does, maybe I'll record it. But yeah, I'll do more any type of videos I do on this channel. So see you later, guys. Goodbye.